Uh, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my vegan cooking show and today we are going to make vegan cutlets from young uh, cabbage um, I'm going to tell you about my ingredients right now I already uh, cut the cabbage uh, very finely which I'm going to uh, saute with other ingredients before I form my cutlets uh, in addition to cabbage, I will use one big uh, onions, which I cut it into uh, small pieces. One, one shredded carrot. Also, I'm going to incorporate garlic into cabbage and one half cup of cilantro. You can also use um, dill or regular parsley. I will start sauteing uh, onions first. About two tablespoons of canola oil in my uh, frying pan. Now I'm adding onions. Let it saute until soft. Now I'm adding uh, garlic. Let it saute for one minute before I add another ingredient, which is going to be carrots. Um, make sure to stir it well. Let it saute for another minute before I add cabbage. I'm mixing my um, ingredients very well right now. And we'll add another half of my cabbage. At this point, I'm going to add one half cup of water and let it boil until cabbage uh, shrinks a little bit. And then I will um, combine cabbage with other ingredients. Time to uh, mix second batch of cabbage with other ingredients. You can see that it decrease its capacity. This way it is better to um, incorporate into other ingredients. I let, it, let my uh, mixture cool off a little bit. Now I'm going to add my binder. Um, yes, we need a binder to uh, keep uh, those cutlets together. I am going to use cooked oatmeal. I'm adding about two cups. Okay. going to um, mix that well now I'm going to add Italian seasoning just to taste pepper cayenne red pepper just to taste uh, smoked paprika nutritional ease a little bit using Indian black salt today I will also add uh, cilantro into my mixture let's make sure to combine my ingredients very well now uh, before I form my cutlets, I will put um, my mixture in fridge for about 30 minutes. Well, you, you can also keep it longer than that if you wish to. I will see you soon. Welcome back. My uh, mixture is uh, cold enough to form my cutlets. That's how my mixture looks like. I'm going to add 
a little bit of um, corn flour just uh, to keep my cutlets to get a one half of half combined. Sticky enough to uh, form cutlets right now. My mixture, I'll show you. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start doing this now. Okay. All right. If you feel like uh, your hands are a little sticky, you always can rinse them uh, from time to time. That doesn't bother me. I will uh, coat uh, my cutlets in Maseka corn flour, but you can use regular flour, all-purpose flour, okay? And or you can, if you have a bread crumbs, you can use them too. I kind of show you how to do it. The consistency of my cutlets is really good. Okay, this is my last one. Okay. All right, pouring canola oil. That is going to be generous amount. Let oil warm up. I go ahead, going to put uh, some in. It is time to, to flip them. Adding a little bit more oil. We'll take them out one by one and place on paper towel uh, in order for the grease to absorb. And in the meantime, I'm going to add a little bit of oil and um, uh, fry another batch of uh, cutlets. Pork works really well. Yeah. It is time for tasting, okay? So uh, you can definitely eat your uh, cutlets with uh, something on the side of plate, potatoes, or rice, or pasta, uh, whatever you wish to, to serve with, and uh, top it with, with something. You, you can uh, enjoy them with, but I, I really think they're really good. Well, guess what? I have uh, seven out of uh, seven six is left definitely different it has a, a unique very unique taste and um well, why not not everything has to be the same yummy 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 definitely 
they, it has different texture, but this would make it very unique. Mm, very good. I have a vegan mayo here in front of me, and I'm gonna put a little bit, you know, on it um, to see how it's going to be. Okay. Uh, sriracha sauce would be a good addition to it too, but it's gone. Well, my food. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mm. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please go vegan for animals. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.